With C.J. Stroud being drafted second overall to the Houston Texans, he signed a huge four-year $36 million rookie deal, which came with a $23.3 million signing bonus from collecting cars, purchasing millions in jewelry, and searching for the perfect place to call home. Starting with his car collection, surprisingly, already gathered multiple vehicles, as his first car would be his Bentley Bentayga he received in college as part of a name, image, and likeness deal, otherwise known as NIL. The SUV itself is valued at up to $200,000, and it's a top of the line car that provides both a traditional engine and is electric as it's described as one of the best SUVs one can buy, coming with extreme craftsmanship and comfort while still providing high performance. Coming with a 6-liter W12 engine, it can travel up to 180 miles per hour and hits 0 to 60 in only 3.6 seconds, which makes it insane that he owned this luxurious car at just 21 years old, and added on top of it with a Porsche Panamera Turbo S electric hybrid for a cost of $180,000 as the Porsche provides the ability to switch between using either an electric or a traditional engine, but it doesn't slow down on performance, as the engine can still travel up to 192 miles an hour and reach 60 in just 3.8 seconds. Porsche never disappoints with its releases, and it's no different with this ride. He hasn't purchased this car yet, but he's made it known it's his dream car, as CJ Stroud's got his eyes set on a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. What is your dream vehicle, man? Yeah, God willing, that happens, uh, but I mean, I've been loving cars since I've been little. Yeah, yeah. Probably, probably a Cullinan. Rose, oh, yeah, Rose okay. Cullinan, yeah. Yeah. You gonna drive it yourself or you gonna have a driver yourself? Nah, I'm driving myself. Word yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sometimes you get a driver though. Yeah. For long nights. Wanting an SUV even more luxurious than his Bentley Bentayga, he wants to buy the $355,000 Rolls-Royce soon. The Cullinan features a V12 engine generating 563 horsepower, traveling up to 160 miles per hour, and keeping an acceleration to 60 in just 4.1 seconds. He wants the Rolls-Royce so much because it's the pinnacle of high-end luxury cars in the world. Plus, overall, Rolls-Royces are some of the most unique cars to find on the road. The features of the Cullinan are characterized by its iconic grille and luxurious coach doors that open backward which give it a more unique look, not to mention the special starlit roof inside the vehicle for late night drives. However, the next car he picked up only a couple of months later through a NIL deal was a Mercedes G-Wagon, valued at a further 200,000 bucks. Coming in a gray paint finish, CJ loves his G-Wagon. While it might not be as flashy as the Bentayga, the wagon still provides an immense amount of comfort when out driving on the road and is equipped with a high-level engine with the 4-liter V8 under the hood. However, the next vehicle he posted up with is a Super Chevrolet Silverado. CJ partnered up with Rocky Ridge Trucks to customize the vehicle in the way he wanted. He fully blacked out the truck and according to Rocky Ridge themselves, they lifted the truck, added their custom Rocky Ridge grille, and upgraded the engine under the hood. However, some more vehicles he's added to his collection since taking home a 20 million signing bonus is his Mercedes-Benz SL 500 Grand Edition that cost him $125,000. The Mercedes Grand Edition features a powerful 4.7 liter twin turbo V8 engine and can go zero to 60 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds with a top speed of 155 miles per hour. While capped at only 155 miles an hour, it's still more than enough for a daily luxury driver for CJ. Stroud's already started his jewelry and watch collections. In preparation for the 2023 NFL Draft, he commissioned an iced-out chain from a local Houston jeweler for a number 7 pendant, as it's completely covered in diamonds, from the Cuban link chain to all over the number 7. Also on draft day, he wore a Cuban link bracelet to match the chain on that night. Overall, the two pieces cost CJ around $25,000. However, in the months since the draft, we've caught CJ posting up on Instagram with a secondary Cuban link chain by itself, which goes for another five grand. And just because he already got one number seven chain doesn't mean he couldn't get another, because he got another smaller one made that ran him only four grand, which he used in this video. You ever seen a 100-yard throw? Watch this. But when it comes to the collection of watches he's gotten so far, he's picked up some of the basics from Rolex to start, like when he picked himself up an incredible two-tone Rolex Daytona for the cost of $21,000. As this watch is a classic from Rolex and features a black dial with yellow gold circling the dial and bracelet, he can't go wrong with any of the pieces he picks up from Rolex. So next up, he purchased a more expensive one, a Rolex Daydate 40 in 18 karat yellow gold with a black dial, as this tops his Rolex collection as his most expensive piece, costing him $75,000 for the watch 
One of his best looking pieces is his Cosmograph Daytona, having a silver bracelet around the watch, with a black bezel circling the dial, which is fit with a light blue inside. It's an elegant watch and one that looks extremely classy with it while out in public and comes with a cost of 65000 Although the last piece he's collected so far with his $20 million net worth is his Oyster Perpetual Submariner Rolex. Fitted with another silver bracelet, this watch comes with white hour markers and a black dial, which is surrounded by a green bezel and runs CJ's Rookie Pockets 16000 When it comes to his housing situation in Houston, there has yet to be any information revealed on whether he's bought a brand new house or not, but it's believed he lives with his mom and siblings in the Houston area. However, with CJ spending a ton of money his rookie year, he's needed ways to get some of it back, so he's partnered up with multiple companies for endorsements, for when he's partnered with a company known as Lockerverse to release unique merchandise. For this Stroud 7 hat, that has Stroud printed inside the 7, and even has 7s and H-Town printed on the backside. As with how Stroud's performing on the field, his endorsement costs are only going to continue to go up, making him more and more each year. Plus, with CJ Stroud now being in the position where he has money, he started up his own CJ Stroud Foundation, as they were caught giving out Thanksgiving meals to single mothers. Yeah, we've been doing it um, really all the way since I can remember, since I've been really young. My mom and dad have always made it influential in our community to let us know that, that we had to get back, so it's been a blessing. I would say uh, I'm thankful for really the people in my life. Um, I think uh, the people in my life uh, have not only gave me confidence and, uh, and hope, but I mean, they, they've uplifted me in hard times, and now that we're able to give back, man, I think that uh, I'm thankful for the people we're able to help as well. Because, uh, you know, everybody uh, should have the chance to have a great Thanksgiving, great Christmas. So, man, it's been a blessing to be able to, in the city of Houston to be able to come back and help. So. Because while it's caught some media attention, CJ Stroud's father has been in prison since he was in middle school. So with CJ Stroud and his mother having to deal with the absence of his dad in their lives while trying to put food on the table, CJ wanted to give back to some people in need, seeing as he knows how it can be. Because while CJ may finally have money now due to his NFL and college football career, it wasn't always like that. For three years of CJ's time while growing up, he and his family lived at a storage facility in downtown Los Angeles. Even for customers who came by during the middle of the night and needed to access their storage units, CJ Stroud would open the gate to let them have access inside, because they lived inside a cramped two-bedroom apartment just behind the manager's office, as CJ had to step up while growing up. His mom said in an interview that he would often say things such as, Mom, you've got so many other things to worry about, I don't want to burden you, and even said things like, Mom, I'm going to get you out of this. From knowing the position he grew up in, he was determined and only continued to push harder to elevate himself and his family to a better life. And look at him now, from becoming the offensive rookie of the year, to already reaching the playoffs and grabbing his first playoff win. He finished his rookie season with over 4,100 yards, 23 touchdowns, and only five interceptions. However, with CJ Stroud benefiting so much from his NIL deals in college, he decided to pay it forward to new college athletes. He donated to The Foundation, which is a non-profit organization that uses donations to support Ohio State athletes. The Foundation even tweeted it out, stating, We're proud to announce that CJ Stroud is our first former student-athlete partner to become a major donor and pay it forward as he paves the way for those to come next. Thanks so much for your support of The Foundation CJ. You are truly a Buckeye for life. CJ Stroud was awarded the Platinum Donor title, meaning he donated somewhere between fifty dollars to $100,000. Overall, CJ Stroud's been an incredible addition to the league after only one season. His high level of play and what he stands for off the field make the future of CJ Stroud very bright. But if you want to see players that are way richer than CJ on his rookie deal, check out the videos on screen.